Welcome to this lesson on one of the quickest ways to rewire your brain, which happens to be compassion meditation. So we'll talk about the science behind this. Now, the reason I say that this could be the quickest way to rewire your brain is based on some research that found that after just a couple of weeks, a total of seven hours of this practice, there were changes in the brain that persisted outside of the formal sitting meditation. And so compared to other categories of meditation, which is basically intentionally training the mind, compared to other categories, this seemed to be the fastest way to change the brain, according to Dr. Richie Davidson, who's a neuroscientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Compassion could sound like a kind of mushy term, like what does that actually mean? But we're talking about something very specific here. It's a quality of mind a positive emotion that is the joyful wish that others be free from their pain, free from their suffering. And so in that sense, it's different than empathy. In fact, there was a study that trained participants first in empathy and then in compassion. And what it found is that when people were shown these scenes of others in pain, these were injuries and natural disasters, then the empathy training activated the pain pathways in their brain and it increased their negative feelings. Then the compassion meditation reversed those negative feelings and it actually activated the brain's reward circuitry. So this shows a difference between empathy, feeling others' pain. You know, there's often in the healthcare profession, it's talked about empathy burnout. Because if you're feeling others' pain and you're around that all day, it can be very stressful. I mean, compassion is actually an energizing and motivating emotion that um, motivates us to help others and to want them to be free. So it's a very proactive emotion and it's very positive. We don't take on others' pain. This capacity to go from a focus on me and you know it's all about me and what i need to we to the bigger tribe to even the bigger tribe of all of humanity and all creatures is wired into us from birth we have this amazing ability and it's probably in other mammals too like we see dolphins helping whales give birth and protecting the baby whales from sharks what is that i don't know if they're benefiting from that personally but it seems they have this mammalian instinct to help others Mental athletes can show us the pinnacle of compassion training. There was an interesting research on some advanced meditators that found that their brain waves were the highest in frequency. They produced the highest reported gamma activity, barring mental disorders. It was the highest gamma activity that these scientists had ever seen. And it was when they were in an advanced state called Rigpa, resting in pure awareness, but it was infused with compassion, and that produced more high-intensity gamma waves, which is a, a frequency of brainwave about 25 to 140 hertz. And these brainwaves are typically a sign of heightened awareness, and that different parts of the brain are functioning together and integrating information and it's typically associated with insights, like a sudden aha moment, except this was the meditator was producing loads of them like all the time instead of just a sudden moment. So compassion has this profound impact on our brains, and it turns out you don't have to train your brain like these mental athletes for, you know, 10 to 50,000 hours to see the benefits of compassion training. Just eight total hours of compassion meditation, increased altruism of participants in this one study, and also changed their brain connectivity in a way that was similar to more advanced meditators, and that there was a greater link between this central command hub and the reward center. And this makes sense because we've already talked about how naturally rewarding compassion is this joyful and motivating emotion that wants us to help others. 
So it's really a win-win. It's both good for the world, good for others, and naturally rewarding in the brain. And it changes the brain. It makes us a better person. So here's how we can apply this in daily life. We use the four R's as we've been training in this course. To recognize, that's the first R, is to recognize contracted, kind of self-centered, me, me, me states of mind. And then release them by no longer feeding those attention. You just, oh, okay, I'm thinking about myself. That's okay. But I'm not going to feed it any more attention. I'm I'm not going to continue to think that way. And then I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax my body. Okay. That feels good. Now you're in a more kind of spacious, open state. Recognize, release. This is kind of the letting go part. And then there's the cultivating, the training, the kind of mental flexing part. So it's like relax, then flex. So what are we bringing? So, okay, recognize, release. The third R is to relish. We relish in a more open and inclusive state of mind that's looking to help others. And in your formal sitting meditation, if you're continuing to train med- compassion, the ancient texts say this can even lead to an advanced subset of the fourth jhana. In other words, we'll talk about this later in the course, but a deep state of mind called infinite space where the, subjectively the body feels like it starts to dissolve. So you're relishing in this beautiful, compassionate feeling, the tangible feeling, and the capacity to help others if there's people around that need your help, and remaining, remaining in this state of mind until the next distraction, until the next kind of me, me, me comes along, which is normal. Daily challenge is to perform a random act of kindness, helping somebody today. Oh. Maybe something you wouldn't normally do, like paying for somebody else's coffee, or just taking the time to listen really closely to somebody who wants to be heard. And please share below. It'd be awesome to hear what people's random acts of kindness are and give us all some more ideas to work with. Wonderful. Thanks for taking the time to train your mind. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.